Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Atlas. My name is Doris, so if you're new to the channel, I hope that you're doing great. In today's episode, I will be sharing with you how to create the formula field variable and update the related record and flows with this variable. I will be sharing my one of my trailhead playgrounds as always. And here you can see I am using accounts object. It's always easier to share standard objects instead of creating custom objects because they're already out of the box. And uh, may maybe these are more simple examples, but if you understand the logic behind it, then you can apply it to any other object. So here I'll be using accounts and I'll be using cases as an example. And all I want to show to you is uh, how to apply this idea later in your environment. So I'll be using this priority field. And in my case, I want to set the priority. In some cases, I want to set this priority based on based on the account type. And we have a prospect direct customer, channel customer, channel partner, reseller. Uh, in this case, I would like to assign high priority to direct customers. And also, if the case origin is phone, so we will make it even more specific. Not all cases, but if this is a phone, case origin is phone, and uh, it's direct customer, I want to set a high priority. So for this, for that, I will go into setup, and I will, um, oh, I will go to setup, and I will create a flow in quick find. I will need to type in flow, open flows, create a new flow, and I will need to select the flow type in the builder. So I will select record triggered flow and click create and I will just change the auto layout to a free form so with this free form I will select edit and select the object so my original object will be case when a case is created case object when it is created um, I will add condition requirements so as I mentioned, if a case origin is phone equals phone, I will set the next requirements in the next steps, but I can start with this. So if the case origin is phone, I would like it to, to trigger this flow and can carry on the flow. So next I will then get records. So I want to get the account. That will be account object, account related to this case. And um, I will want to find the right account. So I want to match the ID. If uh, account ID equals the record account ID. I can store the first record that should be the only account if we haven't got any duplicates. And now I will, I will connect with get account. So we have a case, case origin is phone, trigger the flow. I could even add maybe more conditions, but for this example, I'll just show you, I want to show you how I'm creating the formula. So that's the main idea. And uh, you, conditions here will be very basic, but all right, case origin is phone. Then we will also check, we want to get the account ID. And now I will go into manager and I will create a new resource. And in new resources, I want to create a formula. So it's not really a variable as I mentioned, but that will it will be a formula. And this will be. So I will start with the if function. If now the record that I got from previously in the previous step, if get account 
and account type. Um, type is a picklist value in this environment. So I will use I will use text, and then I can specify that this picklist value. If the text of the type is so, we have customer direct. Then assign I'll actually use if or text. If the text value is either customer direct or customer channel, All right, so I have decided to create a formula that would look something like this. So we have two, two if strings. So my first one, if text of the picklist value is either customer direct or customer channel, assign the case as high priority. Second one is if the picklist value for account type is either channel partner, reseller, or, or installation partner, then medium. Everything else is low. So I just had to double check all my parentheses and the check syntax, everything is valid. And now I can click done. Click done, so it is ready. And the next element would be to update the record or we can also use the assignment sometimes assignment is not working on some objects and i have to still use the update records and data action but in this case let's try with assignment maybe it works better on standard objects now i will select this as update uh, okay, priority. And our variable will be in the same case that triggered the record. So if I select case and I set up priority, priority will equal my newly created formula. It will be right here. So that should work, but I noticed that assignment is not always working. So I will just leave it like this and I will click save. All right, so now before activating, I can also debug it. 
and uh, we can also check this we could potentially check this case right this one and if i click cancel so the case number would be right here account type here is customer direct so if i go here select debug and run immediately i can select uh, my case and i can just run it all right i can see that it has successfully run and uh, let's see how it actually what happened during this flow so it found the account id that's good so let's we can also double check if it's if that's the right account id it is matching we can see that in the assignment update priority record priority field uh, was set to formula that i just created and as a result priority was set to high so that's exactly what we were looking for and that's that's good so i would like to take a, a better example and maybe find an account let's see here i will find the second option and this account there is no 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 type which is we could even test this as well so in case so we, we have an account that has no type at all and based on my formula case should get assigned to low let's find out we have a new case here if we set case reason let's say installation so this case should be linked to go to wranglers are us account and uh, i'll just open at the moment priority is medium or my, my flow hasn't been triggered because the case origin is blank my flow runs only when a case is created so for this example i will just maybe i can click here oh i haven't even activated the flow all right so if i go here and just for this example i'll change to a record is created or updated select done and save it now i can activate it and if i go back to this case now i can i can just leave case origin as it is click save it's one of those cases i will need to add this update records action and specify that i'm updating case and i will use the case record that triggered the flow and here i can even select the role priority to the formula and just for now i'll remove this assignment as i don't really need it anymore and we'll replace with update uh, update action so get account assign formula update the case now i will save as and click save and activate it now this should work on created or updated cases and i'll just go back and i have my default fun uh, default value for priority is medium and i want to override this medium with phone so i I'm saving the record and now you can see that the priority has changed to low so it is working for this account there was a blank value in the type so based on the formula field if i go back to my formula field based on this it has selected the low 
because it didn't match any other criteria. I really hope that you will find this formula useful in case you need to replace your condition or perhaps you, are, you have created a, a flow with multiple paths that is finding the right picklist value. So you could replace it with a single formula. And as you can see, I specifically added complexity where I have also OR function inside of the IF function in case you want to select the outcome for more than one value. And um, it will be right here available to you. Please use it in your environment, test it and make it even better. And that is it for today. I hope you found this video useful and uh, I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.